Hey guys, I'm Alex, and this is Finally Functional. In the last video, I walked on another planet in No Man's Sky with my VR shoes. And it was fun, and it was really exciting because I haven't got to do that with my VR shoe designs. So being able to finally do that was a blast. But you guys saw that the motion was very stop and go. I would take a step, then there'd be a short pause, and then I would take the next step. So step, pause, step, pause. And you saw this in both my actual movements, my actual steps in real life, and in the game. In the game, my movement would be very stop and go. So I first attempted to fix that problem. One of the big things I did to fix that problem and make the motion smoother is to update the code to track my stride, specifically where my foot is in the stride. It'll track when my foot is in front of me, in the center of the stride, and behind me. And knowing where the shoe is, let me make the motion a lot smoother and apply different code, apply different actions depending on where the foot was in the stride. The other thing that I did was that I made it so that if I stopped in real life, I didn't stop right away in the game. I would decelerate in the game. So I made a function that allowed me to control and configure how fast the deceleration was, the, the curve, if it was more linear or more exponential, and I added that into the OpenVR driver logic so that it would smooth out the motion a little bit more. Here I am in the controller tester in Steam. The blue dots are in the middle, which means no speed is being applied. Then when I walk forward, the dots move to the top. Think of it how like a joystick works when you push the joystick forward. When I stop, there is half a second of deceleration. As I showed with the graft function, the deceleration slope and time is very configurable. I'll also make it so that if you want, you can turn this functionality off. But I added this functionality because I heard from a member on my Discord that other VR locomotion solutions decelerate instead of full stop, and I wanted to smooth out the in-game motion. Those are the two major things that I did to make the motion smoother. If you want to know more details, there's a link in the description where I wrote an article that goes into much more detail as to everything that I did. And here I am walking after those changes. The motion is smoother and in-game it's much smoother too. Okay, so a uh, friendly reminder, like and subscribe. And now I'm gonna go over some of the issues that these shoes have, because even though I'm making lots of improvements, these shoes still do have some issues that need to be solved. So the first and biggest issue is just wear and tear. These gears here are already showing some wear on them, and I've had to replace a couple of them because some teeth have broken. And then just this platform right here where this connects this piece here has broken off. I actually have a broken piece here. So that's broken off and it happened on both shoes. I've had to replace it. Another thing, another issue is the buttons on the top of the platform here. So these two buttons here, I've had to replace these buttons a bunch because they just get damaged and have to be replaced. And just in general with the durability of this shoe, I want to improve it. If I would drop this shoe onto the floor, it's gonna break. And I want accidents like that to um, not be too damaging to the shoes. When turning my foot rapidly, what happens is my foot leans like this and the electronic box over on the side hits the ground. So I turn my foot rapidly and it hits the ground. Another thing is that when we humans turn, 
our pivot point is right above our head like this. So I'm turning right along this pivot point. Okay. But when I'm in this harness, my pivot point isn't right above my head. It's behind me slightly. It's right here. Uh, so I need to pivot around this thing instead of just pivoting like this, because I don't want these ropes to hit me in the back of the head. So I need a different harness setup that moves the pivot point back above my head instead of behind me. Each shoe needs an IMU put into it to handle turning better. If I turn this foot like this, then I need to know that it's at this angle so that I don't actuate this shoe in the programming and have the shoes collide. So I need to know what direction they are to see if they'll collide. I need to know if the shoe, if the person is turning the shoe right now and I can measure the rotation, the speed of rotation to get that so that while the person's turning their foot, I won't turn the shoe on because that will be very disorienting, things like that. So need an IMU in each one of these shoes to do that. Plus I need an IMU to decouple uh, feet direction from head direction in the game as well. So those are the issues with this design. And if you're interested in more details and more details about all the testing I did, I wrote an article on Hackaday, link in the description. So I am still very happy with this design because this design, I prioritized something powerful and just getting something that works. And this design accomplishes that. So I'm, I'm happy with it. But this design is just a stepping stone. I'm gonna iterate and improve and I have lots of improvements to make. There are other priorities that I'm now going to move up on my list, like durability, more lightweight, cheaper, all those things. And I am very excited to share with you guys all the ideas that I have, because even though those things have not been a priority, I've been thinking about them a lot. So in the next video, I'm gonna go over all the solutions I have to the problems that I just shared and a bunch of other ideas I have for making these shoes better and the harness better. So I should be getting that video out next week. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and if you can't wait till the next video, I wrote an article going over my solutions and a bunch of the ideas and just my plans going forward. So link in the description for that too. Okay, bye.